Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, TM4ACK. Today, I want to talk to you about using JS8 call to see propagation. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Okay, so before we get to uh, using JS8 Call to see propagation, I'm going to give you a little bit of backstory on how I stumbled across this. And if you're not interested in the backstory, then I'll leave a link or uh, a notation right here at the bottom of the screen. It'll tell you where you can jump to in the video. But recently, I was out uh, doing some field testing with the new to me 817 radio uh, and QRP power. I uh, just wanted to gain a little bit more experience with that particular radio. So I go out, set up, open JS8 call, and I start making contacts. Everything is going beautifully. In fact, I had lowered the power down to either one watt or half a watt with the 817 and was still able to make contacts and have a couple of QSOs inside of JS8 call. Everything is going spectacular for me. So after finishing up with uh, the last QSO in JS8, I thought, all right, let's go ahead and try to make a Winlink connection. So I close JS8 down, I open up everything that I need for Winlink, enter the details for one of my favorite gateways to connect to, and push the connect button. Nothing. Hmm, well this is disappointing. All right, no big deal. I'll jump over and use the other gateway. Now, typically, I'm going to say 90 to 95% of the time, I can get into one of these two gateways almost any time that I want to. So I go over to, we'll call it uh, gateway uh, B. So I go over to uh, try station B. Nothing. All right, what's going on here? Oh, wait a minute. I was having some QSOs in JS8 call on some really low power. Maybe that's the deal. So I cranked uh, the radio back up, the, the little 817 back up to its full 5 watt potential. I go back to the Winlink gateway that uh, I, I tried before, the first one, uh, and hit the connect button. Nothing. So I go ahead and key in the information for Gateway B. Crossing my fingers, I hit the connect button and nothing. All right, now I am really frustrated over this, a bit disappointed, but hey, maybe it's just not my day to make a Winlink connection. So I shut all of that off and I go back to JSA Call. When I'm looking at JSA call, uh, I send out a heartbeat and I'm looking at those results as it came in. I'm wondering, is there a way that I can use that heartbeat reply information to help me make a Winlink connection? Absolutely, there is. Let's jump over to the Raspberry Pi and let me show you guys how I did this. Okay, so here we are inside of JS8 Call, and just before I turned the camera back on, I went ahead and sent out a heartbeat. You can see right over here in the top left, the stations that replied to me. So what I did was I took a look to see who was hearing me the best and who I was hearing the best. So let's take the information that's on the screen right now. Uh, and I probably am looking at two candidates, uh, K4REF right here, and he's, uh, I'm hearing him at 3 dB over, and he's hearing me at negative 4. And then the one right below him, uh, Kilo Bravo 1 Charlie Tango Charlie, gave me a 0, zero report, and I'm hearing him at negative 8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a note of those two call signs. 
And what we want to know here is what is the grid that each of those stations are located in. Now, there's a couple of different ways to get that information. We could A, highlight uh, a station here and click the directed button and then ask for a grid report. And sometimes you'll have to do that. But notice over here, I also have their grid information. And from the limited testing I've done with this, uh, the, the day that I ran into this in the field, I actually didn't have this information pulled up over here on the right. Uh, so I just ask each station for a grid report. But to get this information to display over here, you simply come up to this uh, top uh, bar right here inside of JSA Call. You can right click on that and say show columns. And I went ahead and turned on both the grid locator and the distance. So this gives us some information to work with. So you'll notice here uh, KB1CTC is in Echo Mic 9.2 and K4REF is in Echo Mic. 8, 6. So that's the data that we need in order to go look at uh, the Winlink map and see where we might can or, or where our best odds are at making a Winlink connection. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize JSA call and I'm going to open up a grid map. Uh, also, I have Pat Menu open. Now, if you if you have installed Pat Menu, you will have the grid map automatically installed. To get to that, you will come down to Find Winlink Gateways, and then click View the Grid Map, uh, and that would open the map that you're seeing here on the screen. So let's take a look at that, and let's look at Echo Mike 85 and Echo Mike. 9.2, or was maybe that was Echo Mike 8.6. Uh, but let's scroll down here a little bit and let's kind of get an idea of where those are. Now, I'm in Echo Mike 6.5, right here, uh, roughly in the middle of Tennessee. And let's see, 85 is uh, almost due east of me. And 92 is going, I believe this is 92 right here. It's a little hard to read on that particular map but I do believe that is Echo Mike uh, 9.2. Okay, so uh, now that we kind of have an idea of where those stations are located and which direction we've got good propagation with, with our antenna setup, let's go to Pat Menu and see if we can find some stations in this area. So I'm gonna open up Pat Menu. I'm gonna come down to the Find Winlink Gateways and then I'm going to say search for a gateway. Now I'm going to search the Echo Mic uh, grid and I want to search on 40 meters. We'll go ahead and click the search button there and that will bring up a list of results. So I'm going to kind of move this, try to move this up and out of the way so we can see this. And then we're simply going to start looking at this list right here. It gives you the grid square where every one of the gateways is located. And looking through the list, I came across a couple of different stations here. Echo Mic, uh, or they're in the grid, Echo Mic 8.3. Uh, so WW4MSK and AJ4GU. Uh, now, if we look at Echo Mike 83, it is right here on the map. Well, remember a while ago, we were getting into Echo Mike 92. So there's a good probability that we can also hit this Winlink gateway that's in Echo Mike 83. So that's kind of the way I used JSA call to quote unquote C propagation on that particular day and then give me better odds at making a Winlink connection. So hopefully this will help you guys out as well. If you do try this method and uh, you know see if you can make a Winlink connection or not, please leave a comment down in the uh, comment section below. I'd be really interested to know if this helped you 
make a Winlink connection. All right, guys, we will see you on the next video. Until then, 7-3.